All right, the first week of the 2024 NFL League year was quite a frenzy, and the hobby reacted accordingly. Let's look at the top 10 players going up after the first week of NFL free agency in the 2024 league year. Let's look at different tiers of their rookie cards. Look at the player performance compared with the sold data on eBay. Let's dig in. Marquise Hollywood Brown signs a one-year $11 million deal with the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes, three-time Super Bowl champion. A not-quite 27-year-old receiver drafted in the first round in 2019 has put up over 1,000 air yards each of the past four seasons. We've seen his silver no-huddle disco prism raw selling for $20 on the 15th which just one day prior, that same exact card sold for $6. So you can see a massive little bit over 3x jump in that one day. If we look at his rookie ticket auto, the base from contenders selling for almost $40 in auction yesterday, or the PSA 10 for $150. Before the news break, we had those rookie ticket autos selling for $20 to $25 even $15 in some circumstances, even some more rare ones selling back in February, early March for $12.50, $15. So those have over doubled in value. Now his largest transaction off the news was this cracked ice rookie ticket auto, serial numbered out of 23 BGS 9.5 auto 10, listed for $300, ultimately sells for 240. Or what about this National Treasure serial numbered out of 15 rookie patch auto with some nice stitching. On card rookie auto, 289.55, buy it now. You also had this gold serial numbered out of 10, of course, PSA 9 that sold almost immediately upon the news break March 14th for $280 in a buy it now. Number two, Drake London with the Atlanta Falcons after Kirk Cousins signs a monster four-year contract. Drake London, just 22 and a half years old, a former number eight overall draft pick out of USC from 2022. We know he's 6'4", 213, very much a Mike Evans-ish style playing profile. And Kirk Cousins, a four-time pro bowler, with seven seasons over 4,000 passing yards. You can see Drake London's Prism Silver here selling yesterday in a buy it now for $14 plus $2 shipping. That black Prism Silver lagging considerably behind at just $5. There's the Prism Silver negative. We do have over 5,000 different rookie cards for Drake London out of 2022 compared to just over 2,000 for Marquise Brown from 2019. So this negative here, $20 in auction. There's an auction for the Prism Silver yesterday that ended $12.50. Typically, these cards will go a little bit lower in auctions. Plus, you have a $5 shipping price tag there that kind of equals out with the other one. And the Disco Prism, about $20 here as well, which is the same price tag you saw for the Marquise Brown, so pretty impressive. Considering the low for that card, $4.50. And this is actually the negative once again, the negative Disco here, January 5th. That was $4.15. Here we have the base Prism Silver Disco showing you the low transaction here February 21st, just less than a month ago. $9, you can see those have roughly doubled in value. Those, this is his entry level markets, what I consider his entry level market. Optic Hollows, Prism Silvers, Prism Disco Silvers, the negative silvers. Now, if we look at his mid-tier market, what I consider the rookie ticket auto or some of those lesser known sets that have rookie autos in them. Let's look at the Optic Contenders rookie ticket auto. It's an on-card rookie auto. Here we have a buy it now yesterday, a $50 markdown from $75 plus $6 shipping. So $56 out the door compared to this transaction that took place just two weeks ago for $15. So we have over a 3x increase in the value of this card. And you can see it just wasn't that one listing. We have several listings of around that $5 to $15 price point for Drake London's Optic Base Rookie Ticket Autos going back to playoff time period when his team was eliminated and he wasn't being talked about very much. Which reminds me, real quick, if you guys are new here, welcome to the Football Card Quest. My name is Andy, where we are 100% dedicated to football cards research and selling tips. We're all part of the NoOffseason.com Sports Card Network. 
we do have a premium membership service where we write up players like this which we've written up drake london twice over the period of the past several months because we knew the atlanta falcons were going to be getting the quarterback upgrade and that's the type of opportunities in the hobby we want to take advantage of a lot of times these new spikes like you're seeing in this video cause a pretty significant increase in their rookie card values on ebay so make sure you subscribe tune in now back to the action now for drake london's largest transactions off of this news we have a flawless one of one nfl shield patch this does not have a rookie auto, but it is a one of one from one of the top, top brands in the football card hobby. This sold for $975 in a buy it now markdown from $1,200. And then the very next day, we had this gold vinyl rookie auto from Prisons, Prism, serial numbered out of five. This was listed at $1,000 and it was sold for $750 in a buy it now. We also saw his Black Pulsar Optic Contenders Rookie Ticket Auto PSA 10 Auto 10. This card is serial numbered out of 8. It is also the book in 8 out of 8, which we see get a little bonus when it comes to serial numbering and the nuances there. But we look at this, it was listed at $950 and sold for $750 in a buy it now. And that same day, March 14th, we had a Panini 1 Black Cracked Ice Nike Swoosh RPA out of 5 listed for $800. And it sold for $800. Authenticity guarantee. Really sick rookie patch auto there. Number 3, Zach Moss. He signs a 2-year $8 million deal with the Bengals and Joe Burrow. And it looked like the hobby was all chasing the running back for this Bengals team once Joe Mixon was traded to the Texans. We also saw a nice little spike in Chase Brown until Zach Moss was signed. Zach Moss earning himself a bag because he's only a third round running back from Utah drafted in 2020. Drafted to the Buffalo Bills with a lackluster athletic profile. Best comparable to Alexander Madison here on playerprofiler.com. But he did put up 800 rushing yards last year in Jonathan Taylor stead. Had a nice little run there. You can see a silver prism rookie auto selling for forty dollars in a buy it now today you can also see his base prism silver 225 now let's look at the low on that prism silver rookie auto here are five dollars and 51 cents plus five dollars shipping on december 24 total of 10 out the door really nice 4x increase on that card even had a Silver Prism Disco Rookie Auto for him sell January 29th for $5 with a dollar shipping out the door. So just six. So massive, massive increase in his Rookie Auto market. As you can see, here's an Optic Contenders Rookie Ticket Auto Silver Prism, by the way, that sold for $6.79 Feb 21. Now let's look at his Base Contenders Rookie Ticket Auto. Here we have a buy it now from yesterday. That sold for $15, marked down from $18. But we can find where that card and cards more rare than that were selling for just a dollar to a couple dollars back in January. Like you see these Optic Contenders rookie ticket autos here selling for just a couple bucks in February, even in buy it now format. There's the base one selling for $7.50 a dollar. So those definitely over doubled in value. If we look at his largest transaction, that did occur post news of signing with the Bengals, we have a national treasures jumbo four color patch with some really cool stitching here we have a midnight rookie patch auto serial numbered out of 20 it was listed at 500 but the seller took 150 for it now this auction was really well timed last wednesday night this is an rpa here from prism it's his rookie patch auto, one of one with a laundry patch, PSA 9. This closed for $282 in auction. And then once again, the Cracked Ice rookie ticket auto, serial number 2 out of 22 here, raw. Listed for 200 but closed that day in a buy it now for 175 What's up, guys? Andy here. Are you ready to start grading your cards? Well, CGC Cards is the perfect place to slab your favorite football cards. From their crystal clear holders to their affordable pricing, CGC Cards is the perfect stop for your grading needs and the perfect PC protection. Go to cgccards.com to start grading 
today. Number four, Saquon Barkley signs a three-year $37.75 million deal with the Eagles. The number two overall pick from 2018, the athletic phenom at six foot 233, running a 4-4-40 yard dash with that 99th percentile elite height adjusted speed score and burst, now gets to play behind an elite offensive line in Philadelphia. Also, division rival. The man will get to exact justice on his former team that refused to pay him. And here we have his green velocity optic rated rookie from 2018 selling for $40 today in auction. And if you go back to January 25th, that same card closed in auction for just $12.50, so over a 3x increase. Now, if we look at his rookie ticket auto, here we have an optic contender silver that sold for $158 in a well-timed auction once again here by DC Sports 87 last Wednesday night for $158.50. We do have a buy it now confirmed of that card back at December 25th, Christmas, for $90 in a buy it now. Now let's put this in comparison with Zach Moss. You saw that cracked ice for Zach Moss that sold for a couple hundred bucks. The Saquon, whoa, this one was listed at five grand, but the seller took 350. Now this was back on January 27th. How do you think this seller feels today? Let me know in the comment section below, does he regret this sale or is he still feeling good about it? I think the answer is pretty clear to me. His largest transaction post news of being signed by the Eagles is a National Treasures Gold RPA out of 10 that closed for $1,200 in auction last night. You also had this 2018 National Treasures RPA out of 15 PSA 10 that closed last Monday night for $909. And then the very next day, this optic autograph here that's been PSA DNA certified, PSA 10, auto 10, was listed for 595 sold for 490 Saquon's college cracked ice rookie ticket auto, BGS 9 out of 23, sold for $400 post news last Monday. Number five is the heading into his second year rookie, Quentin Johnson, wide receiver for the LA Chargers, who it now... Uh, from a lot of people's accounts, uh, clearly a lot of people in the hobby think he will be the number one wide receiver for the LA Chargers in 2025 or 2024 season uh, after the Chargers traded Keenan Allen to the Chicago Bears and cut Mike Williams. Quentin Johnson bumps up in the depth chart. So does Josh Palmer. We've seen a tremendous increase in the sold volume of Quentin Johnson rookie cards but looking at his base entry level tier here, these Prism Silvers, they fluctuate quite a bit. It's not a ton of product out for 2023 rookies. Uh, so those Prism Silvers, like he's got 2,286 different rookie cards currently. He does have first round draft capital, and that's what a lot of people are hanging their hat on here. Uh, we can see those fluctuating anywhere between $2 and $9 to $10 here, probably based on the condition, the photos they can find them for raw on eBay. His largest Prism Silver transactions are some of these new parallels like this Mojo photo variation here. This is serial numbered out of 25. That goes for 122 yesterday in auction. Or this Press Proof Silver Prism. This is new this year. This was listed at $100 and sold in Buy It Now nine days ago for 75. A PSA 10 Prism Silver selling for $100. We do have some preliminary data that it's about a 40% raw to PSA 10 conversion rate for Prism Silvers from 2023. Going back to February 28th though, that same PSA 10 sold for just $75. So you can see a nice little 25% increase there. Let's take a look at some of these mid-tier rookie autos like this horizontal one from Impeccable out of 99, closed for 31 yesterday, or this vertically formatted one that closed for 37 yesterday in auction, both numbered out of 99. So you can see how the vertical horizontal shift there does benefit the card, meaning vertically formatted cards typically go for a higher resale value than horizontal. Now, if we go back to March 9th before the news, that card was 
going for 2250 so nice little increase there about 50 percent uh or, or more value of the card increased from pre to post news now if we look at the largest transactions we actually have another card from impeccable here but this is a one of one uh horizontally formatted rookie patch auto sold for 380 dollars yesterday in auction and then his Donruss Downtown PSA 10 was listed for 350, sold for 329, not much of a discount. Then his Prism Red, SSP True Red, which as we know now is a super short print rare card from retail boxes, is $275 uh, here in a buy it now yesterday, marked down from 325. Then you have an impeccable with a silver bar out of 25 which guarantees you that this card will hold some value in the long run because I believe you should be selling Quentin Johnson right now. I think he is way overvalued and overhyped, and the Chargers are going to draft a stud wide receiver here at number five in the upcoming draft. Number six, Josh Jacobs. He signs a two-year deal. He signs a four-year $48 million deal with the Packers, which is basically a one-year deal when you look at the fine print with a lot of team options in there after that but the Packers subsequently released Aaron Jones who signs with the Minnesota Vikings division rival and Jacobs who is just 26 years old who has been an absolute bell cow for the Las Vegas Raiders over the past several years including the NFL leading rusher in 2022 with over 1600 rushing yards he had another 400 receiving yards that year he was the rb number three overall in fantasy gets a fresh start with jordan love and the green bay packers a massive fan base and franchise let's check out that optic contender silver prism rookie ticket auto sold for 90 dollars in a buy it now on the 14th that was last thursday now, do we have a base rookie ticket auto that closed for 18 on January 31? A one that says read, the serial numbered out of 49 that closed for 20 on January 28th. Here we have that silver prism rookie ticket auto that we, you just saw sell for 90, selling for 33 back on January 28th. So once again, looking at almost a 3x increase in these rookie autos for Josh Jacob. Now, I know you guys saw a bunch of those silver prism selling for around five dollars they were just a, a dollar card here back in january so nice increase for an entry level person that uh, wants to just spend a dollar or two with very very little downside and risk obviously does have that nice uh, increase upside to it the optic hollow for josh jacobs which is another sweet card from 2019 more on that entry level side we can see 18 dollars march 15th as last week we're looking at some of the high transactions post news 1848 again 1999 if you go back to before the news this one does say read so we'll look at a couple more but this one was five dollars fifty cents march 7th here you have a 12.99 on february 28th there wasn't a ton of data on those but let's look at his largest transactions here just one week ago last monday we have the gold out of 10 psa 10 selling for 500 in a buy it now and then just one day later we we do have his college patch auto this card is serial numbered out of 15 it's from flawless he did play for alabama so that's important as well this is a jersey number one uh, jersey one of one college match so very interesting this may even be a game worn patch maybe for 608 dollars in a buy it now we don't have a specific game mentioned here, but it does say enclosed player worn material. Nonetheless, very sick card. And of course, going to the University of Alabama is going to add a lot of resale value to your card. His gold optic rated rookie sold just three days ago for $300, serial numbered out of 10. This was listed for $550. So seller took a nice little discount there to move it ton of ton of big time josh jacobs transactions going down over the past few days here so you can see this wave out of 25 psa 10 selling for 350 that's from spectra nice little rpa there and then his blue shimmer first off the line exclusive here rookie auto out of 10 this is from prism so listed for 500 sold for 225 now if you guys have a family like me then health and fitness is important to you and i invite you to join me on empower men empowermen.co the 90-day health and fitness transformation platform 
for the busy professional or everyday dad or husband to achieve and afford optimal health. This is the program that I use, guys, to lose over 40 pounds of body fat. I know you can't see it because I'm just shoulders up here, but I carry, I have carried in the past a ton of weight around my midsection. And the thing is, anybody can hop on a diet, move more, eat less in a week or two. But after the first couple of weeks, it starts to get really challenging, if you know what I mean. And it's super easy to just fall back into your old habits. Well, Empower Men keeps you accountable and maps out the entire road for you and then helps you stay on that road so you actually achieve your goals, guys. So we have a special link in the description below. You can join. You'll join the weekly accountability call with me and you will be able to achieve your optimal health and they even help with financial goals and other goals that you may want to achieve as well. Uh, so check it out. We have a link in the description below for right now an introductory offer that um, is not going to be like this for very long. As they grow, they're going to increase the prices. So guys, they put in a ton of work, but it is 100% money back guaranteed. Check it out in the description below. Back to the action. All right, number seven is Zamir White on the Las Vegas Raiders. He bumps up the depth chart as a result of Josh Jacobs going to the Packers. And right now, there is no other uh, running back on the Vegas Raiders depth chart that is really going to challenge Zamir White. So the people buying Zamir White now, as you'll see, are really hoping that he dodges the draft and the Raiders don't draft a running back here. But... Once again, for this type of running back position, a guy that's really not a household name yet, a lot of those base prism silvers are just selling for a couple dollars. You can see Optic Hollows here yesterday, a couple bucks. Also, is based on condition, whatnot. 225 here for base prism silver with 475 shipping. So, still makes it about a $5 card. And pre-news, those are just going to be $1 cards or even less. As you can see here, a $0.99 cent, uh, one, one bid auction plus $0.99 cent shipping. So two out the door that goes to five. Very entry level. They have gone up probably about double from what they were before the news. But much like Zamir White or um, Zach Moss, just very much at a low dollar value overall. Now let's look at the rookie ticket autos. Here we have one sealed by Panini here. Uh, this is a base contenders rookie ticket auto for Zamir White. It's two days ago, sold for $30 in a buy it now. Compared to December 20th, there was actually one out of 23 that sold for $4.25. Uh, but here we have that same uh, base one that we just looked at, sealed by Panini. Sold for $10 in a buy it now back December 21st. So you can see that card... Uh, went up about 3x in value. Now let's find the top dog from post news here, transaction wise. We have a turn of the century rookie auto gold, serial numbered out of five, PSA 10. What a banger here. Uh, this is a rookie auto, $400 in a buy it now. This was marked down 50% from 800. Seller gave a 50% discount here to 400. We also have this Rookie Shield, a one of one. This is a Rookie Auto. It's a big playbook here from National Treasures. $500 in a buy it now, no discount. It was listed at 500, sold for 500. And then his Select RPA Prime Patch. It's a Nike check. It's uh, serial numbered one out of one. So it's a one of one here. Uh, rookie Patch Auto for 385. Then also his uh, Panini Spotlight, very interesting card here from Panini Inc. But it is a black serial numbered one out of one. So once again, you got the scarcity. This one's graded PSA nine, sold for 325. Number eight is going to be Curtis Samuel, wide receiver, formerly of the Commanders, signs with the Buffalo Bills. Curtis Samuel is a little bit of an athletic phenom, man. This guy is incredibly explosive and agile. Very elite, high adjusted speed score. We've had a ton of sold volume going off for him in the past week. Uh, but you can see here his base entry level, the Prism Silver from 2017. Got this optic uh, lime here selling for just a few dollars. Gets paired up with Josh Allen, the Buffalo Bills, and uh, immediately jumps into that number two spot behind Stefan Diggs as Gabe Davis is traded to the Jacksonville Jaguars. You can see most of his cards are still very cheap, so... A lot of people are just buying at will. Looks like you can buy even 
rare cards still for really affordable prices here like this uh optic contenders auto red for twenty dollars that was a psa 9 what about this origin serial numbered out of 10 uh this is a, a big booklet here that's a, a rookie auto of 34 dollars and it may have some uh, condition issues that i'm not zooming in to read about um here's his optic psa 10 for $20. Now we did have a couple big time ones as well, like this National Treasures out of five colossal patch. Got the laundry tag there, on card rookie auto, $175 in a buy it now, uh, marked down from $300. And then another NT with a really cool looking Panthers patch in there, serial numbered out of 10, 02 out of 10 to be specific, $118.74 buy it now. All of these largest uh, Curtis Samuel transactions here happening on uh, March 15th, which was the day, I believe, yeah, Friday, which was the day that the news dropped. He was signing with the Bills. It's an interesting one here from NT. That's uh, Christian McCaffrey, Curtis Samuel, dual rookie auto here. This one closed for $102 on Friday, and, and that was an auction. Um, here's a nice mid-tier one that's rookie, optic rookie auto, black out of 25. Man, Discounted pretty far down to uh, $35. But that was on the 14th, so last Thursday. And uh, the thing is, you could have gotten into Curtis Samuel's market, and maybe you still can, but his mid-tier, his rookie autos, and even from good sets like Prism and Optic, uh, just have always been super, super cheap. Get a nice discount when you uh, when you don't really have a quarterback or you're like buried on a depth chart with the Panthers or the Commanders, stuff like that, so... Yeah, and he's not a rookie anymore. Um, now entering what will be his seventh year in the league. Number nine is Sam Darnold signing a one-year deal with the Minnesota Vikings, getting to throw the ball to, uh, as of right now, unless the Vikings draft a quarterback, which they very well could, um, which leads me to my ultimate point of uh, I would sell Sam Darnold now, but I think he you could also roll the dice and hold him and try and sell him heading into the season uh, as he's likely going to compete for the starting job against a incoming rookie that they draft, maybe a J.J. McCarthy or Michael Penix or something like that. But um, he's definitely gone up in value, as you can see here, tracking tracking uh, through our Keep em app, which you guys can get access to at footballcardquest.com and, and our premium membership. Um, Sam Darnold's graded market has gone up. We're looking at the 30-day trend on his PSA 10 market. Uh, most of them, the, the primary ones, the base Donruss, the Prism, the Optic here, have all gone up from 20 to 30 percent nice little increase there had some pretty big transactions well cracked ice man which we've seen time and time again we know these get a a ton of of demand and and value as well psa 10 auto 10 listed at 1500 sold for 800 dollars last uh last tuesday same thing with this national treasures rpa out of 99 bgs9 sold for 725 dollars or what about this spectra gold vinyl one out of one it's listed for 750 this sold just two days ago for 450 uh, i think it's smart to sell sam darnold right now um, before draft night because i do think the vikings uh, do draft a quarterback but uh, he's definitely going to be competing for the starting job based on the money they gave him. So for number 10, I'm not sure if it's Sam Howe, which we saw a nice volume spike. He was traded from the Commanders to the Seattle Seahawks. And a lot of people think that he can win the starting job there. As you can see, we've had uh, some nice increases like 20% you know, on the Contenders Rookie Ticket Auto, 20% uh, on the Green Prism here, going from very cheap, low prices Going to more respectable prices here, uh, like Press Proof Premium PSA 10 up 18%, Silver Prism Rookie Auto PSA 10 up 17%, the Chronicles Prism Black Silver 10 up 42%. So some nice increases uh, we're seeing here in Sam Howell's market being traded to the Seahawks. With those incredible weapons there, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, you got Mike McDonald's, the head coach now, Jackson Smith, the Jigba, first round draft pick from last year, very promising talent. Um, the other one I was torn with for number 10 is actually Russell Wilson signing with the Pittsburgh Steelers on a one year deal. You can look at the increases in Russell Wilson's market, uh, particularly this Topps Chrome PSA 10. Man, this thing's up 109% and uh, big, big increase there. 
Let's see if that's actually, yeah, it's a $102 auction Sunday night at 1015. Do have a 425 that snuck its way in there. A little illegitimate transaction, but but still, if we just let's look at like the uh, the one month chart on that bad boy and see what that card came from. So yeah, it's it hasn't gone up realistically 100% because that was an anomaly that got pulled in. More like that 10 to 15% like we're seeing here. Once again, Russ going from low prices, but this was a considerable, noticeable increase here. And then obviously you had Justin Fields sign with the Steelers as well. So this is great for the hobby on both ends because you know the Bears are going to draft a quarterback now at this point, which is great for DJ Moore and Keenan Allen uh, and and. De DeAndre Swift, which we haven't mentioned here in the top 10. Uh, he kind of enters a crowded depth chart there. But uh, look at Justin Fields' prices also going up as a result of signing with the Steelers. And then you also have hype for Russell Wilson. So I would put like Russell Wilson, Justin Fields. I would put Will Levis, uh, the Tennessee Titans here at my number 10, 11, 12 spot as well all these guys i'm kind of torn with you know sam Howell, like i mentioned um i'm kind of torn with here at this number 10 through 12 spot because they all get little boosts man and and we track all of the this sold volume on a day-to-day -day basis right here as you can see going back to 314 you can go today uh and see the volume on a daily basis so reminder you can get access to all that at footballcardquest.com go premium all right, guys, let me know in the comments section below who I missed in this video that you would have loved to see in the top 10. Uh, and let me know in the comments, like, uh, if you have any ideas for future content or videos you'd like me to make this off season. And I will catch up with you guys later this week in a couple live streams. And we'll see you in that next video. Peace.